There are so many ways of preparing jollof rice and in today's video I'm going to share with you another way you can make your delicious jollof rice. It reminds me of childhood. We were really enjoying. <laughs> I remember my mother was calling it jollof plus beans and it is so good. That is what we have on our bill of fare today. Hello, nice to meet you. My name is Lena and welcome to my kitchen. So I have with me here the ingredients that I will be using. So I will introduce them whilst we use in the video because I don't want to waste your time. Let's get started. I have with me here my ingredients and it's on the screen. I will give it a stir and wait for a while. I will then add this to it. So these ingredients will also be on the screen and please check it out. I'll give it a stir and then wait for a while. Okay. If today is the first time here, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much. And we prepare food here or anything that we eat. Please, if you are interested, can you smash on the red button and the bell icon? That says all. Oh, it is actually free and if you're watching me from facebook please follow for more thank you so much i've added two tablespoons of tomato paste i am not a fan of tomato paste i love tomato um fresh tomatoes a lot so i'm going to add a lot of that to it do it as you want okay so that is my fresh tomatoes some rosemary all the ingredients will be on the screen so I'll give it a stir and then wait until um, it's well cooked, then we proceed. Now I cannot prepare the love rice without sardines, so I've added two, okay, and those are the types that I used, okay, or the brands that I used. So I'll give it a stir and wait for a while. My returning subscribers and followers, thank you so much for always watching my videos. I do appreciate it. Please, after watching this video, do not hesitate to like, comment, share, and also follow for more. I will be very, very grateful. Especially, I love to read your comments. So, leave it there for me so that I will enjoy them. <laughs> Thank you so much. Now, my beans is ready. Okay? So, I've added it to the stew. I will give it a stir and wait for a while before we proceed. The next thing I am going to add to my jollof rice is my coconut milk. I cannot prepare jollof rice without coconut milk. You can actually make it without the coconut milk, but on this day, I wanted to add coconut milk and that is exactly what I've done. So mix it very well, okay? And taste it to see whether the salt is okay, everything is okay before you proceed. So mahurume <laughs> coconut milk kunkunimu uh aha -huh. it is very important. I bought everything. <laughs> so that is what I've done <laughs> and I've added it to it. Now I'll wait a while, then check on it every five minutes and make sure that it doesn't become jollof emotu. It doesn't become very soft like rice balls. Okay, but I just wanted to single that. So whilst we are doing that, we are just going to work on our chicken and the ingredients will be on the screen as well. Cover this on a very lower heat and it is done. So now I'm just going to put it in my air fryer and then I'm good to go. So I am going to use the fish because I don't eat meat. So the fish was in the seasoned water that contains natural seasoning and salt. Waited for 30 minutes, strained the water from it and then coated it with flour and parsley. So after coating it, I fry it and that is ready. Our jollof rice is also ready here and oh my goodness. <laughs> It already looks very delicious and perfectly made. So I'm just going to show you how it looks. Everything looks okay. Our jollof rice, our chicken and fish is here. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. It was delicious. Try it and you will love it. See you in the next one. Bye.